section we are going to know about the purchase requisition in SAP S4 HANA MM. Now let us understand what exactly the purchase requisition is all about. A purchase requisition is an internal document within a company that requests a procurement of goods and services. Is that it does not specify a vendor but simply outlines the material or service needed along with the quantity and required delivery date. A purchase requisition can be created manually by users or automatically generated by the system. For an example, through material requirement planning program. Okay. Now, let us take one an example. Let us say you work for a company that manufactures laptops. Your department needs 50 new laptops for a new project. Now, you create a purchase requisition in SAP to request these laptops. Now, this document will be used internally and won't be sent to any vendors. The procurement team will later convert this requisition into a purchase order where they will decide which supplier to purchase these laptops from. Okay, so this is all about the purchase requisition. Now, as I mentioned earlier, purchase requisition can be created by manually or by automatic. Now, let us see the configurations are involved to create the purchase requisition in SAP system. So to create the purchase requisition in SAP S4 HANA, we need to do these configurations initially. First, we need to define the number ranges and then we need to define the document types and then we need to assign the number ranges to the respective document types. Okay, so let us go into the SAP system and configure these required configurations. I'm on the SAP Easy Access screen now. Go under the transaction SPRO. SAP Reference IMG, go under the Node Material Management, Expand Purchasing, and here you see a node Purchase Requisition, Expand the node. Alright, so here we have Define Number Ranges for Purchase Requisition, Execute the node, and we will be landed on the screen. Now, to define the number ranges for the Purchase Requisition can also be accessed by using the transaction code OMH7. Alright. Now for every purchase a document, they must have the number range, which can be an internal or the external. Now to define the number ranges for the required purchase requisition document type, now let us click on change intervals pencil button. Now if you could see here, these are the predefined number ranges which are available. Now if you want, we can use the existing number range, else you can create your new number range by inserting a line so we have seen these activities in our previous configurations where you can follow the same procedure else we can also go to free intervals and you can select the required intervals whichever it is suit okay now in our case i'll be choosing the zero inter zero one number range for our document type okay Now let us go back, go back again. All right, our next activity is to define document types for the purchase requisition. Execute the node and you will be landed on the screen. Now here, if you could see, there are the different purchase requisitions that has been already configured, which is the, the standard purchase requisition has the type NB. Okay, now this configuration allows the internal number range and the external number range all right now to create a new purchasing requisition document type what you need to do you need to select the standard purchase requisition document type nb so let us select it and click on copy as now maintain the new purchase requisition document type such as znb let me put Z and B. All right. Now maintain the previously configured internal number range. Okay. So we have, as I said, so I'll be taking the already configured number range, which is 01. So let me check the 01 number range. I don't want to give any external number range. So I'll remove the external number range. All right. And here, it is the document type description. So maintain a short description for a new purchasing requisition document type. So 
So let me choose that as purchase requisition. SUK1. Okay. All right. Now press enter. Now, then you have a pop up window will appear. So, in this window, choose whether to copy all the dependent entries of the reference document type NB into a newly configured document type ZNB or not. Okay. So, you have to choose copy all. Now, the system shows an information about the number of dependent entries in the purchase requisition document type NB. Now, if you could see here, they have been copied the newly configured purchase requisition document type and the number of dependents has been copied 152 press enter to continue that's it now if you see here now select the znb and double click on allowed items categories on the left double click on it now here you can see the list of item categories that were copied directly from the purchase requisition document type nb on the screen, delete or add the item categories allowed for the purchase requisition document type ZNB, which is necessary based on your business requirement. All right. Now access the screen by double click on the serial number profiles. So go back to the document types and select the document type and click on serial number profiles. Now make a purchase requisition of your document type required optional or the serial so let us choose press ok now here make the purchase requisition of your document type znb required or an optional to a serial number for an equipment when creating a purchase requisition so with these steps we have completed the configurations of the purchase requisition now let us test whether the sap system can successfully create a newly configured purchase requisition with the document type znb and the other important note to be remember that being an mm consultant okay when you are doing an sap implementation project the client should agree all the purchasing document numbers and the associated number ranges to be configured to meet the various business scenarios okay our example covered creating the purchase requisition document type znb which business users will need to use when requesting a purchase for an asset or a material or a service okay all right a purchase requisition can be created by using the transaction code me 51 n hit enter and you will be landed on this screen and you will be landed on the screen now let us understand more about the key fields in the purchase requisition first is a document type okay now this document type of a purchase requisition is important because the document type defines the internal and the external number range used for the requisitions and it also defines the valid item categories and the following upon functions now let us use our newly configured purchase requisition document type which is znb so here it is select znb all right now the purchase requisition number can be defined as an internal or the external number okay so in our case we have already configured an internal number range right the next is item category now here if you can see here this is an item category item category field allows the purchase requisition to follow the correct path for the category of the purchase requisition okay now if i click on this list you can see the sap system includes the a set of pre-delivered item categories such as the standard 
if it is a blank so you should understand it as a standard purchase requisition and purchase requisition can also be created for the consignment subcontracting third party services stock transfer etc okay so let us choose the standard now next enter the material number or select it from the material master record in our case let me select it from the list so our plant is sk01 so these are the materials which is created by us so let us choose the steel sheet okay and short text the field auto populates based on the material master but you can be edit you can edit if it is required okay now click on quantity quantity specify the quantity for the material you need so let us choose i'll use five okay unit enter the unit of measure so in our case our meter unit of measure is cartons okay and let us select the delivery date delivery date i'll put it as october 23rd okay let us choose the material group our material group is raw materials okay so what i'll do enter the purchase requisition which is sapo and enter the purchasing group purchasing group it is 100 so that's it now press enter all right so we need to enter the plant which is sk01 so this is done so we have captured the required information select the storage location so this is london road okay so these are the required fields that needs to be captured in the purchase requisition if required you can also add the description so that's it once every information has been captured, hit on save. 